So my good friend Mitch Collier drew a bighorn sheep U tag, and uh, fortunately for us, the nearest spot we can hunt them is about a half hour from town. So we made a plan this morning that we we're going to meet up after work. I just finished my last job of the day, and I'm heading to meet him now. Almost immediately in the hunt, Mitch spotted a lone sheep about 450 to 500 vertical feet directly above the trail. From the angle and the distance, we weren't 100% certain if it was a ewe or a young ram, but with plenty of daylight left, we decided to make a move and find out for certain. As we made our way up the mountain, the sheep repositioned twice. Mitch was about 50 yards ahead of me, and he saw it bed on a small cliff directly above us overlooking our approach. He still wasn't 100% positive if it was a young ram or a ewe, so we decided to hunker down and wait it out. From a hidden point in the rocks below, we watched the sheep in its bed for about a half an hour. When it finally got up and walked up and over the ledge and out of sight, we made moves as quick as we could up to its bedding point. When we got there, we still had no idea where the sheep went. The opposite side of the face, about 200 yards, I spot the ewe feeding up the side of the face. I started filming the sheep and he started glassing. From his vantage point, he could easily see that it was in fact a ewe. He immediately decided to put a stalk on it. I decided to stay put. From my vantage point, I could see the current position of the sheep and the direction it was headed. If needed, Mitch could glass me from the opposite side and I could give him hand signals in the direction that it was headed. When Mitch made it to the opposite side of the drainage where the sheep was, he got within shooting range pretty quickly. From my vantage point, I felt like he had a perfect shot opportunity. What I couldn't see was the steepness of the ridge made it difficult for him to get a good shot. From my viewpoint, I watched as Mitch tried to reposition as quick as possible. He worked his way straight up the ridge, through the timber, and contoured above the sheep. I quickly tried to reposition higher up the cliff so I could get a better filming angle. In that amount of time, Mitch's shot opportunity happened so fast that the next thing I was able to capture was the sheep coming out of the timber, running down the ridge, and out of sight. A hard shot. Good to done it, Did you find your arrow? Yeah. 